everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited to share a couple of cards today. We are using a brand new collection from Spellbinders. Um, this collection is from BB Cameron and it's called BB's Butterflies. Um, this is the stamp set. It has a lot of pretty sentiments that go perfect with butterflies, along with three different sizes of butterflies. And then there is a there's actually more to this collection. I'm just showing you a few of the items. But this one I thought was would be super fun. This is a pop-up butterfly. So we're going to create kind of an internet, um, interactive card with a butterfly in the center um, using both of these items. So we're going to jump in and get started. We're going to start by creating our butterfly. The nice thing is you get the outline and then you get the detail layer that you would layer in the middle. And then there's also this piece. This is the piece that you put in the center of your card. So when you open it up, the butterfly kind of pops out. Then you also have the butterfly body. And it, you'll notice here that it has a, a um, crease mark, which is really good. Because you're going to need to have that folded to create the butterfly pop up. We're going to set these aside and grab some cardstock. We're going to start with some black and white. I want to go bold. I want to go kind of, um, I'm going to put bold and soft kind of together. You know, usually I've been creating some real soft cards, but I wanted a real bold background for my butterfly. So I'm going to take the outline and die cut out the outline with black cardstock. And then I'm going to die cut out the detail piece with white along with the body and then we're going to need another piece of cardstock aren't we let's grab another one and I'm going to die cut out this piece once and then I'm bringing in a die set from Spellbinders this is the large die of the month I fell in love with these leaves so we are going to die cut out some leaves using the Large Die of the Month Club Kit for our first card. I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine and when I am done I'll be right back. Once I have everything die cut we're going to set our leaves aside. I'm going to actually keep these white, keeping with the soft feel. And this is our piece that will create our, it's very easy to create actually, and the camera's not picking it up. Um, Today our weather is just cold and icy and rainy and I have to use artificial light so you, you can't probably see the, the score lines on here. But um, there are score lines about every half inch and I'll show you how to add that to the card in a minute. But before we do that, I do want to color in my butterfly wings. This is the detail piece. I just left the pieces in there because sometimes it's easier to color with the pieces in. It kind of gives our detail piece a little bit of stability. Now I wanted to go with some blues. And so I have some Distress Oxide inks. We have, I have Prize Ribbon, Salvage Patina, Mermaidy Lagoon, and Vintage Photo. And I'm gonna start with Salvage Patina. And I'm just gonna use my blending brushes and I'm gonna go over the bottom here. I wanna create a some different colors on our butterfly wings and I'm kind of making sure that they're kind of even left to right. <laughs> Once we have salvage patina, I'm going to go in with my Mermaid Lagoon. And do I want this brush or do I want my blue one? I think I'll use my blue one. And I'm going to add a little bit of color just above the salvage patina. Next, we'll take our prize ribbon. And I'm going to go over the top area with prize ribbon. I want that dark blue. Now 
The cardstock that I'm using is my Cougar Digital. So it does an ink blend really well, but since this is gonna, all those detail pieces are gonna pop out, it's not gonna be um, that noticeable. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of my salvage patina on this side. Kind of mixing and matching the colors. And then I'm gonna do, I think this is a real, let me zoom in here, I'm kind of far away. Let me show you. I think that's really pretty, but I want it to be a little bit more earthy or a little bit more um, earthy, I guess is the word. So I'm bringing in my vintage photo and I am going to go from the center and kind of blend out. This is going to be I love blues and browns together. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I think that looks good. Next, I'll just use my tool in one. We're gonna take out all these little pieces. Okay, wings are all done, and I think they look so pretty. I'm loving this, this color combination. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little color to our body. Now, I just, I don't wanna just go, I didn't want to go just black. I didn't want to go just blue. So we're going to mix and match our colors. <laughs> and I'm just using the ink that's left over on my brush. I'm going to start with my dark blue. Add that to the bottom. Bring in my lighter blue, my salvaged. And then I'll use my vintage photo for our butterfly head. Kind of blending them together. And then I think I want a little black in here since the base of our butterfly is going to be black. So I have a finger dauber that has black ink on it. And I'm just going to add a little black shading on the bottom, kind of trailing up a little bit. And this probably has black soot. I'm going to add a little bit of black to the top of our butterfly too. For the top of the butterfly, what you're going to do is take your scissors and trim off that rectangle piece so you just have the detail piece. And then you're going to go ahead and fold at the score line. Well, let's, let's do this piece first. For this, you're going to fold down the middle And I used the heavyweight cardstock. Maybe a lighter weight would probably work better. Let me grab my bone folder here. Okay. So we have it down the middle so far. And then you're going to flip this side up. Flip the next side up. So now we have an M. And then we'll reinforce those score lines. Basically we're just doing a zigzag. And then you have one more score line. So we're going to flip up these flaps, these little wings, and we'll reinforce the score line. And we'll do the same with our last. So we're just basically creating an accordion fold back and forth and back and forth. Okay, so basically, once you go back and forth, you created an accordion fold. You want to make sure that your fold is shaped like a W. You can see the side profile here. So we have a W. I'm going to set this aside. And then we have our butterfly background. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce the score lines on these, the butterfly background. Okay. Next I'm going to use a small amount of glue. And I want my butterfly wings to flutter, so I'm just adding glue to the very end of the detail piece. If 
I don't put the needle back in, I'll lose the needle. <laughs> and that is happened so many times. Okay, now I'm going to take my detail piece, line it up along the edge here. And then we're going to adhere this to our butterfly background. We're going to go ahead and take our butterfly body and we'll, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and reinforce the score line. And again, I used a heavyweight cardstock, but I think a lighter weight would probably work better for this since, well, one, it's going to be on the inside of your card, um, so there's less bulk. So I suggest a lighter weight. And I'm just going to use my bone folder and reinforce. It folds right in half pretty easily. Now before we go any further, I want to add some sparkle to these wings. So I'm using my sparkle silk. Now this is very concentrated silver sparkle. And so what I'm going to do is take my brush, kind of lift up the wings here. I don't want it on the black. Should have did this before. But I'm just going to go around the edge of my butterfly to give our butterfly wings a little bit of sparkle and pizzazz. And like I said, this is pretty concentrated. So to spread out that color, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my finger daubers. And I'm gonna just kind of spread that color out so it's kind of fades to the rest of the, the butterfly wings. We'll do the same thing to this butterfly. And then I'm also gonna do the butterfly body here. I think it's just the antenna with my sparkle silk. And I'm gonna go full, full strength with this. Okay. Sparkle silk is, looks like a little nail polish bottle, but it adds tons of sparkle. Um, the, sp the glitter does, after it dries, um, can shed a little bit, so I have to just keep my little dauber in a plastic bag. Okay, now our sparkle is added. What we're gonna do now is build our little kinetic card. So we're holding our little piece, so the W is um, folded. Now you can use glue or you can use tape, whatever you prefer. I am gonna be using the tape that I have from the card kit because it's the perfect size. I'm gonna go ahead and add Tape to the left and right of my butterfly wings. Let's remove our release paper. And then our left wing will add here. We're going to add it to this side right here. Okay, just tack that down. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay, then on this side of it, we're gonna go ahead and add our, our right piece, there we go. So if you fold it, this is what it looks like. I think. I think that is so cool. Okay, now what we do is flip your butterfly around. So now it's the M shape. Now on this tab and this tab, we're gonna add a piece of tape. And we'll add some tape on this tab. And then we'll just remove the release paper So we have tape on this side and this side. What you're going to do is fold the M in and then attach this downwards. Okay, so on this side we'll hold the M in 
and then we'll flip this you can see here we'll flip this like this and hold it down so now our tabs are stuck now you should have a box when if you did it right you should have a little box so if we go this way at the box, go this way at the box. Pretty cool, huh? And it will flatten like this too. So, oops. So we have a box. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a very thin layer of glue to our body. Um, and actually, I'm gonna add it to our butterfly. And I'm going on the left and right. And then we'll take our butterfly body and add that on the inside of the card. While I'm holding this, I'm gonna go ahead and create my card base. For this card, um, to create a butterfly on the inside of your card, your card you're gonna need a side folding card. So let's grab one of those. I think it grabbed, so let's open it up here. And this is what it looks like so far. Pretty neat, huh? Now, this is my side folding card base. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and take some adhesive. We're gonna add it to both sides of our the bottom of the box. Make sure it's... And then we'll remove the release paper. We'll flip it around. And again, if you want to use glue, you very well could. But I think just for video purposes, tape is quicker. Now you can put this anywhere along the seam. Nice thing to do is fold your envelope and kind of go like this. And then, I think I'm going to go a little bit in the middle. And then we'll press down and then we're going to fold over. our card and we're going to press really good on the back. There is a little bit of bulk, but that, again, I think if you were to use a, a lighter weight cardstock, then that would be pretty neat. And then we have a little butterfly flutter. And that's what it looks like. And it closes flat, pretty flat. Again, you open it up, and there is your butterfly. How pretty is that? Okay, we're going to decorate the front of our card. So to do that, I'm going to create one more butterfly like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. So I went ahead, let's zoom back out here. So I went ahead and created the same butterfly. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and use some tape along the score line. And again, you can use glue, but I think tape is just easier. I'll just remove the release paper. And then I'm going to add my detail layer right over the top. And this, this butterfly is going to be for the front of my card. And so what I want to do is I am going to trim off just a little bit. I'm not going all the way to the crease line or the score line. I am leaving a little bit of room. This way we can adhere these both together. And for this, since it is a small area, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue and we'll just tack these together. Kind of overlapping them. Like so. You want to make sure that when you trim it, your butterfly body will fit um, and cover that up. So I went ahead and put some foam adhesive behind my butterfly body. So we're going to just remove the release paper and add this right over our middle section. And I just have to say, that's the funnest butterfly. Pretty large size, too. You can see here. Okay. Now we are going to do a little bit of embossing and die cutting. I have 
Oops. I have, these are the Fancy Scallop Edge Circles. I'm going to go ahead and die cut this out with some white cardstock. And then I am going to take a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter and I'm going to use my embossing folder. This is the Simply Perfect Florets embossing folder and I'm going to emboss this panel. Okay, I have my scallop circle and I love the little dotted detail. It just adds some daintiness and I have my embossed panel. We're going to go ahead and adhere this panel to the front of our card base and I'll use my tea printer for this. It leaves me a little bit of a border. Now for this is where we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment using our stamp set. Butterfly Sentiments. And I'm just going to stamp sending hugs. Because I think everyday cards are nice and hugs are nice. <laughs> I'm going to use my oxide inks to stamp this because I want a little added color. I'm going to use prize ribbon. And we'll stamp sending hugs. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and we're going to add some adhesive. And we'll put this a little bit towards the left of our panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind our butterfly. And w since we have a little dimension with the butterfly body, I didn't want to add too much. Um, but you can flip up the wings, which is nice. And then we have our leaves. Again, I, ke I kept them white because I just like the bold butterfly contrast and I'm going to tuck these under here. So that's my first card. When you open it up, you have the beautiful fluttering butterfly on the inside. I think that's super neat. Okay, so that's our first card. We're going to make another card, but this time um, it's not going to be um, we're just going to create a traditional card. I'm going to start by doing a little bit of heat embossing. I have some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. We're going to take our stamp set and I'm going to stamp this real pretty butterfly. I'm going to stamp it with my VersaFine ink. I want that bold black edge and I think this butterfly is perfect for that. I'm going to stamp two of these. Actually, let's do three. Three is always a good number for butterflies. <laughs> and then while I'm at it, I'm going to take the butterfly body. There's three different butterfly bodies in here. And I'm going to stamp this while I'm at it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some clear embossing powder and some scratch paper. Spellbinders has some new embossing powders and this is clear. So we're going to try this out here. And add this over our image. We'll just funnel the rest back. I'm going to use my heat gun and melt our pretty butterflies. They're nice and bold and black. Now I'm going to use some Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers to color in these butterflies. I chose some colors that kind of coordinated with this butterfly. This, we have a brown that is, or beige, 072. We have a, a Parisian blue, 032. And then we have Cobalt Blue, 031. And I'm going to do a little bit of blending. And Okay, coloring is all done. Very easy to do. And in fact, I think the only two colors that you would really need would be the beige 
and the Parisian blue because the Parisian blue if you blend it out um, it's pretty close to the cobalt blue <laughs> so just a little tidbit you probably just need if you're gonna use zig markers to color in butterflies you just need these two colors I'm gonna fussy cut my butterflies out and We'll work on my background. Okay, I'm finishing up my fussy cutting. And I did go outside the lines with my zig in a few areas. So that's where our white gel pen comes in handy. We'll just go around those edges. Okay, now we're gonna work on our background. We'll set these aside. And I'm bringing in a die set from Spellbinders. This is the Stack Decorative Edges. And we're going to die cut out some borders. I'm going to die cut out two. And then with some black cardstock, this is a one and three quarter inch strip. I'm going to use my Simply um, Perfect Floor Etts Embossing Folder. And we're going to emboss that black strip. It's five and a half inches tall, so it's going to go the length of my card base and then two of our borders and I'm going to dike it out some more of those pretty leaves that we had for our um, our first project so I have my black card stock embossed and we have our two border strips I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive on one side and we'll tack that down along the edge and then I'll add adhesive on this side, flip this around, and I'm going to add our other border on the other edge. Next, I'm going to take this panel and our, our leaves. I have two small and then one large, and I'm going to use my blending brush that has the vintage photo on it, and I'm going to do a little shading with all of these. I want my leaves on this one to be brown. Once I have a little color added to my leaves, we'll flip these around and then I'm going to add some adhesive and we're going to place these on our panel. I want to overhang on that black a little bit. And if I do have any overhanging, I do want to trim it off. I always forget to trim these off, but it does give a more finished look. We'll go this side too. Just trim off the tails of those, the stems. <laughs> and so we have a pretty detailed area. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add foam adhesive behind here. Probably have a little overhanging. This is going to go towards the left. Okay, now we'll take our butterflies. And we'll add some small foam squares behind here. And I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment in this area. Let's see. There's thinking of you. There's, I think we're going to stamp happy birthday to you. Okay. Oops. We don't need that on there. <laughs> And now we just need some bells and whistles and I'm going to go really subtle. I just want my butterflies to stand out and I'm going to be using some Spellbinders um, Color Essential Gems. These is, this is the Crystal Mix and there's, there's like a real iridescent one on the Crystal Mix and then there's a real soft white one. I'm going to use the soft white gem and we're just going to add a few of them on our card. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. And then those are my two cards today, guys, using BB's Butterfly Collection, which is pretty fabulous. And again, when you open this up, you have that beautiful, and of course you can stamp sentiments in here also. But pretty fabulous collection. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll link everything down below in the description area. Have a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.